Okay, we're ready to start turn number five of the Legend of Drizzt board game. And in the previous turn, Drizzt was knocked out. So at the, the very first thing we're going to do at the start of turn number five is use our one and only healing surge to come back to life. So yes, we used our surge. And Drizzt springs back into action. And he comes back with half as many hit points as his max. So he comes back with four. All right, and we're just gonna keep doing the same thing, even though it's not worked for the last two turns, but it just doesn't do us any good to try to do really anything else. Um, although I did forget that I had this uh, Cloud of Darkness. So let me put this onto the board. So I remember that I have it, and hopefully we can put that into use at some point. But for now, we're going to attack the Water Elemental using our Icing Death. Let's get a let's get a twenty. What is that? A twelve? Okay, so a twelve is not a twenty, but it's good enough to take down the water elemental because we did do the one damage on the previous turn. So we finally hit something. So the water elemental goes bye bye. So we'll take the water elemental off the table and place it back over here. And let's go ahead and start doing an update. Now we're not done with our attack, um, but we do get to draw a treasure card. So I'm going to do that now because we did kill a monster. So we are attacking and we'll get our second attack because of the expert expert combatant, but we'll take our treasure first. And this treasure is going to be battlefield promotion play immediately. Your hero is now second level. If your hero is already second level, another hero of your choice becomes second level. Well, that's a pretty good one. So let's discard that. We'll flip our hero plaque over, and we gain two hit points. Let me see. When you, when you level up, increase your HP by two, your AC by one, your surge value by one. Okay, so we get another surge token and select an additional uh, ranger daily power. Okay, so there's only one daily power left and I actually put it in the bag. So that'll be that'll be our other one because the other ones are in the expert pack and I haven't even opened the expert pack yet. Or what do they call it? Advanced deck. I haven't even opened this one yet. So All right, so let's first thing increase our hit points before we forget. So that takes us up to six. All right, so that's a, a pretty good turn of events for us. And we still have our additional attack because of our expert combatants. So we will now attack the Hypnotic Spirit. Has an AC of 14, so we need to roll, what, a six or better. And hey, luck is turning our way for once. We got a 12, which is enough to take down the Hypnotic Spirit. So that'll go into our discard experience pile and the hypnotic sp spirit is gone place that back over here all right so let me mark these off just to indicate they're gone and now we will explore so let's go ahead and move we're not slowed or anything like that so we have our speed which is seven so we're going to move up here and explore whatever's up that way. So we'll draw a cavern tile. Got a black tile, so we will, a black triangle, so we will have an encounter. So exploration phase, yes, black. Uh, place a monster, so we'll do that. And we got another water elemental. Yeah, I didn't shuffle these things very well at all. So that's not good, but we'll, it's, it's just the way the game is playing out, so it's fine. All right, so we got another water elemental. Now, if the other water elemental were alive, we would actually discard that one and draw another card because you can't have two of the same monster active under the same player. Uh, we don't have any blessings, and we will have an encounter, so let's go ahead and take care of that. There will be no villain. 
and the water elemental will activate. But let's take care of the encounter first. All right, what do we have? Lost, without looking, without looking at it, take the bottom tile from the dungeon tile stack and place it on top. That sucks. So that puts us one tile farther away from victory. All right, so I'm going to do that. Take one tile from the bottom, place it on top. So now the escape route is uh, will be the tenth tile instead of the ninth. All right, so that was our encounter, but all things considered, I suppose it could have been worse. And now the water elemental will activate and we pretty much know its mechanics by now, so it's going to move to the uh, mushroom pad of the tile that Drizzt is on and attack with the wave. And just double check that. Yes. So it's going to move from here to here and attack. Uh, I think it's every hero, but there's only Drizzt, so it attacks with the wave which gets a plus eight. 17, so of course it hits. That's a 17. So of course, when I roll for the monsters, I roll really well. So the wave hits us. Actually, before I commit to that, let me see. Use when a monster within one tile of your hero would activate. The monster does not activate, so I've already kind of blown it because I've already activated. I'm not gonna take that back but the monster does not activate during this villain phase if more than one monster with the same name is in play. This power affects only the chosen monster. Okay, so I have to remember to use that before the villain phase starts, and I didn't remember, so we took one damage, taking us down to five. All right, so that is going to wrap it up for turn number five.